the bigger goals you have, the more life will happen. And it's about enjoying it when it is tough and it is hard. Finding the beauty in the struggle. And hopefully when you succeed, the journey, the destination is so much better because of all the things you went through. <laughs> How do you bounce back? Wow. I mean, phew, I think it's something from deep inside and an intestinal fortitude. I think something you, you can develop. And I think it goes back to your why, like whatever your why is. Now for me, my why was always to win a medal at the Olympic Games, which I'm very lucky and proud to have done. Uh, not not lucky, I'll take it back. I'm very proud to have done. <clears throat> I had to overcome a lot of adversity on the way, illness to myself, to my loved ones, my mom, injury. I think it's, it's that why. I think the stronger the why is, the more the more you have. So when you do get knocked down in life, you you, you can hold on to that why. That's your anchor to keep getting up and keep pushing and keep persevering for the thing that you want most, be it an Olympic medal or a successful business. My sporting career taught me the the bigger goals you have, the more life is going to happen to you. And now when I say that, when I say life, I mean the ups, the downs, the twists, the turns, the, the good bits, the, the the bad bit, the bigger goals you have, the more all this stuff is going to happen. I mean, how do you measure life? Uh, you can measure life by duration, living 70, 80, 90 years, or you can measure life in those moments. Well, those moments are being scared and doing it anyway. Olympic Games, sitting there, butterflies in my tummy. My mum was in hospital trying to survive a brain aneurysm. My life was a mess. And that was a pivotal moment. I either don't box in the Olympic Games or I box in the Olympic Games. I either, I either go back home with my family or I, either I focus on this one thing for me and my family. It's those moments. It's the scary moments. It's the moments of being afraid and doing it anyway. And I'm very lucky in, in a relatively short life, I've managed to amass so many of those, of those moments. And that's what life is. That's what boxing, that's what my sport taught me. The bigger goals you have, the more life will happen. And it's about enjoying it when it is tough and it is hard. Finding the beauty in the struggle. And hopefully when you succeed, the journey, the destination is so much better because of all the things you went through. I'm very lucky to be involved in a number of winning teams. And when I joined the Great Britain boxing team uh, when, I was a, when I was a kid, England and Great Britain, we weren't one of the, the big players in the world of amateur boxing. We, we, we weren't. We were maybe a, a middle kind of country. We weren't a Cuba. We weren't in America, Ukraine or Russia. And over the course of my tenure on the GB squad, we changed to become the number one team in the world, which we are now. When you go to the Olympic Games and, and the World Championships, you do not want to draw a British boxer because we are literally the best. And I was part of that change. And the culture is it's, it's developing a winning mindset. We used to go there, we used to be afraid of boxing the Russians. Now the Russians are afraid of boxing us. And that become that because we, we worked hard and we changed our culture. We got one or two people in that had been there, that had done it, that operated on the highest levels and been successful. And that winning mentality kind of filters down to the rest of us. Then you win something. Then you win something else. Then rather than going there and hoping for a good draw, when the, when the, when the draw is done, you go there, you don't care what the draw is because you know you're so confident in your own ability you're going to come away with a medal. So I think it's bringing in the top, top people and creating that, that, that the culture, creating the culture. It all starts within. And then, as I mentioned, a couple of top people, and top hasn't got to be, you know, the CEO. Top could be somebody coming in who's very influential. And that, that winning mentality kind of spreads around the team. And that's how you win. That is how you win. You win together. You win collectively. I hope audiences take away that they can win. They can be successful. Whatever winning is, the winning hasn't got to be an Olympic medal, hasn't got to be £500,000 a year contract. I was not supposed to be where I am. Like I'm not supposed to be here talking to you now. I'm not supposed to be on your stage giving my talk. I'm a, I'm a kid. I've got four sisters, single parent household. My dad was never in my life. When he was, he was very violent. He was very abusive. I 
became a boxer. Now, most boxers are boxers because their dad boxed, their granddad boxed, their uncle boxed. I had no men in my life, no male influence. So me walking down this this path is wasn't, it's an anomaly, really. I come from a small town. It's not a boxing town. It's not a London or a Liverpool or a Birmingham. It's a small town in the east of England, far away from anything, really. And yet I did it. I overcame setback, uh, prejudice, over everything, oh, oh, injury. As I mentioned, my mum was very ill, had a brain aneurysm just before the Olympic Games. I overcame so much to, to win, to win a medal for myself and, and my country and my family and my community and that small town that I came from. So you haven't, you, you can do it too. You can do it if you, if you work hard enough and if you believe in yourself, you can be anything you want to be. No, that's the the main message that I think people can take away and, and learn from from my story.